Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And if you're using Zoom to live stream your DJ sets, this is the video for you because I've got a few settings that you need to adjust within Zoom so you can get the best quality audio when broadcasting your DJ sets. Now, when it comes to adjusting the audio settings within Zoom, it's three very simple steps. And ideally, you know, just like on a radio broadcast, you would want to uh, broadcast the audio that's directly coming out of the mixer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so to make the adjustments, we need to, of course, open Zoom. So I've got Zoom open right now. And the first step is to go into settings. And you want to go into the audio tab. We'll just call it a tab. And the first thing that you want to uncheck is this area right here that says automatically adjust volume. So this essentially uh, is a little feature within Zoom that allows the computer or the software to determine whether or not the input of what's going into the microphone needs to either be uh, have more sensitivity or less sensitivity. So if volume is louder, it's going to lower the input. And if volume is quieter, then it's going to heighten the sensitivity. Secondly, uh, we're going to go into advanced. And by default, this option, show in meeting, option to enable original sound from microphone is unchecked. Now, the reason we want to have this option showing is because when we are in our Zoom meeting or on our Zoom call, there'll be a little checkbox. It'll be in the upper left corner where you can turn that on. So having this option checked is going to then give you the option during the meeting or during your set to turn on enable original sound. And that's essentially just saying it's going to enable the original audio that's coming from your controller out into the software. And our third and final step is right back in the uh, audio settings tab. And this is where we need to select the microphone. And I say microphone, but really it's the controller or the mixer that you're using. So in this case, I've got it connected to an MCX 8000 and it's already by default selected that. There are a few options within here, but you're gonna want the multi-channel MCX 8000. If you've got some issues that may be arising, you may wanna uh, toy with some of these things, but the multi-channel option should be giving you the master output. All the channels of music that are playing from the controller as well as your microphone will all be going directly to Zoom. And again, it doesn't matter what controller you're using, you're always going to do those two initial uh, audio changes. And that third one is just selecting whatever hardware you're connected to. So just showed you on the 8000, now I'm going to show you on a couple other pieces of DJ gear. And to make an adjustment for the Roland 505, again, you just go to the audio tab, and right here in this menu, if it doesn't by default uh, change, for the DJ505, you're going to change it to microchord DJ505. So that's essentially selecting the sound card from the DJ505. And I'll even pick up my microphone right now and I can talk into it. And you can see that it's bouncing around. Now, I was able to show you on two of my controllers. It's really going to be a little bit of a trial and error. Set up a Zoom meeting, have some people join, and then you can uh, have, get some feedback from them on how things sound and also audio levels between the music and your microphone, uh, and also just making sure that you've selected the right option. All right, so just make those few audio adjustments, and you should be ready to rock your next live DJ set on Zoom. If this video was helpful to you, please like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I uh, really appreciate all the support that I get, and I love sharing some of these ideas and tips with all of you. So do all that, and go rock your next online live stream in Zoom. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.